Let's start adding some fields to our form. The first three fields in our form are different versions of text fields. If we want to add text fields to our form, simply select the text field tool, go down to your form, and drag and drop a field onto the form. As you can see, the field is highlighted in red. Now we're going to need to set some properties for the form. The first property we need to set is the form name. Now the form name is going to be submitted when your form is submitted. Typically when you submit a form, it submits the name of the field and the value that was typed into it. So because most people are submitting form fields to databases, you want to make sure that your form name is a name that your database can accept. So our general rule is make sure that this name is one word with no special characters in it. Okay, so for instance, in our example, we have first name. As you can see, there's no special characters and it's one word. If you need to, you can use an underscore. That's the only special character that's acceptable by almost all databases. But to be really safe, call it first name. Now, on the general tab, there are a few other options that we can set. If you'd like to have a tooltip pop up when somebody puts their mouse over the field, you can type in a tooltip here. Typically with something like first name, it's a fairly obvious field, so we wouldn't need to do that. Down here we have some common properties. This is telling us that the form field is visible. There's a few other options in here. You can make the form a hidden field, form field. You can make it visible, but make it so that it doesn't print. And you can make it hidden, but make it printable. For our situation, just leave it as a visible form field and that'll work fine for our example. Over here, we have read only and required. If you were to make the field read only, no one would be able to edit it, so I don't suggest selecting that. You may want the field to be required. If you do, check this box. That will force somebody to fill that field out before the form can be submitted. Now the next tab we have is the appearance tab. And let me move this down a little bit so we can see here a little bit better. On the Appearance tab, you have border color. Let's say you wanted a border on the outside of the field. By default, there is no border. If you would like a border color, you could come in here and select that to something like, let's say, gray. And if you wanted there to be a fill color, you could select that to be yellow. And as you can see, up here in our form, the outline should be gray when the field is looked at and the inside's yellow. The way to look at a field, the way it's going to be represented when you, see, when you use the form, is to use the hand tool. If I select the hand tool, you can see there's an outline, kind of a gray border here, and the fill is yellow. If I come back over to the Select Object tool and I select the object, I can then see the properties again. I typically don't use a fill color. Um, I find most times an outline color is enough. Now, when people type into the field, uh, the field can have auto text. Now, what auto text size means is that when you type into the field, the size of the text will adjust to fit inside of the field. For instance, if I was to type a long amount of text in the field, the actual font would shrink down so I could see all the text in the field. It is possible to select a standard size, but I often recommend keeping it set to auto. The default is usually Helvica in here, but you could change to a different font. Helvica is decent because it appears to be on most systems and works well. Let's select our text field tool again, and I will insert another text field. 
And again, I'll want to change the name of the field to last name on the appearance I'll set the border color to gray so now we have a first name and a last name field the next type of field I want to put in is typically called a text area it's a text field but allows you to type in multiple lines of text let me show you how to do that we'll still use the text field tool I'll drop in a field and we'll give this field a name. We'll call it comments. And the appearance, I'll set the border color to gray. Then in the options for the field, you can see that there's an option for multi-line. This is what makes this text field so that you can type in multiple lines. I'll set that. Now, if you wanted to put a limit on the number of characters typed into this field, you could set a limit right here. But we don't need to set a limit on this. Also, something unique to show is that there's check spelling built into PDF forms. This is a very nice feature. It allows people to submit form data that isn't so embarrassing.